Hey there, you're watching Danski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the color range feature to make color based selections all in Photoshop. So you can see I've got an image on screen. It's a very colorful image. We've got a lot of different colors. We're going to select the lips and the nail here that are both pink and also this purple nail here. Now there's lots of different selection tools in Photoshop. We're going to look at one called color range now, and we can start by going up to select down to color range and we see this box appear here and we can use the eyedropper tool to sample a particular color. You can see I can adjust these sliders for range and fuzziness to either increase or decrease the area that's captured in that selection. So you can see I'm sampling different colors and this preview over here, whatever is white is being selected, whatever is black is not being selected and gray, well, that's kind of somewhere in between. So what we want to do is select this specific area. So if we click on the pink part of the lips here, then we're going to hold down shift on the keyboard so we can get the plus icon. You can see I can add to this selection and you can see as I'm doing this, that preview is changing over there on the left. You can also hold the Alt key on the keyboard and it will change to a minus and you can of course subtract from that selection. But we're going to keep holding shift, just clicking a few different areas of that pink nail that we want to capture and we'll do the same for the purple one as well. So we're just telling Photoshop, we're checking all these different sample points and just feeding it that information. These are the areas and the colors that we want to preserve. So we've now done that a few times and we can start adjusting the fuzziness and the range. So I'm going to bring the range right down, push the fuzziness I think up or maybe we'll bring that a bit down. So you can see the preview here. It's just about fine tuning that preview, getting all of the white in there, no gray and black. So we get a very clearly defined selection. Gray just means it's kind of sort of caught in the selection, but not It's very unclear. Also, if you have trouble making a specific selection on a small area, try using this option, localized color clusters. If I turn this off and on, you can see it's made it much easier for me to capture just the lips and these two nails. So let's click OK. And you can see we have our selection here. If it isn't perfect, just grab your quick selection tool and then you can just drag over any areas that may have been missed. And then we now have that selection and we can just go down to the adjustment icon at the bottom of the layers panel. And we could add, for example, a hue and saturation adjustment layer, check colorize, bring the saturation up and we can now change whatever we selected to any color we like. So we could make these a little bit more red, zoom back out. And there we go. That's how we can use the color range feature to make color based selections in Photoshop.